security yeah, car at a people off the street yeah. to, to bang in our door and pushing sharp object yeah so friend. they got random random yes 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 so oh, they could say that they didn't actually have to do yeah, it but there you they instruct so. them to do it i'm head and saying that he's quite injured yes and he had a headache yeah Cops and bailiffs are committing an offence under Section 4 for protection from eviction at 1977. This part of the market were trading for one is 10 years, 17 years, four, four years, myself is two years. Coronavirus came and TFL literally pushed the people on the street. They came, they evict one part of the market and they evict us two weeks ago. They never came with eviction notice, they just came Monday at 4 o'clock in the morning, they took us out. Their promise was to get a temporary market. That didn't happen. The bailiffs have come 4 a.m. All we got the closest was for them to negotiate 90 days stories. They're supposed to provide 10 containers, they've only provided five, and expected them on Friday to transfer everything when there wasn't enough storage. They then fired an email saying that they'll destroy all their property on Wednesday, 5 p.m. So they locked themselves in because they're defending their property. They, they open, they're cutting the door to the back. Come, come with them. They're cutting the gate. Explain what you're doing. I will do. uh, well, you said that before. Can you please explain? Alright, people is behind. One of them is injury. The ambulance coming. You have to call the police. Exactly. Okay, we're talking to the police now. Tell the police. We know that we have to leave. We just been trying to negotiate with TFL. TFL gave us until 29 of September. We know we have to leave by the 29. We're not refusing. We just want everything written down in a legal document. The guy who's been hit on the head is outside. They can go and look after him. Okay, cool. Okay? okay. Thank uh, you. Is, is everyone okay? Everyone is okay. We are great. Do you have an agreement until the 29th for the... Yes. Tuesday. Yes, because what the security uh, says today to us, either if they don't send more storage, we have to take our st staff to the street, or we never see our staff again because they're gonna lock the place. Is it your staff who's been hit to the head? No, it was a guy. He's outside. The paramedics can go and check on him. We want the security to leave. We're gonna stay here until TFL gain contact with us. And we want confirmation from TFL that they're gonna fuck off. They're trying to open. Guys, we're coming in. Stand back. We are coming in. Who is okay. that? If you just force on us, you will be arrested. He's coming in. If you assist in an illegal eviction, this is what you're doing right now. Why? Why are you gonna smash it? Why are you shot on me? The reason 
move into because we can hear the fact that somebody had a head injury. Apparently, that's, 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 that's why you're into? Yeah, that's what we were told. Well, but we we said that he's outside. We said that he's outside. No, 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 that is wrong. That he's outside. He's outside. outside. He's outside. So there's no need to force the entrance. So the police at the back said we need to assist the person that need medical assistance. Yes? And I said, okay, we're going to put him onto the front. Can you make the paramedic come to the front? Who did you say that to? The police were communicating to Jackie on the phone. So these guys have been here during the day, and we have night shift and night, and it's been like this it's since the 13th of They arrested Raymond. It's 22. Yes, well, I don't know anything about that. Security, go home! Security, go I'm Andy Byford, I'm the Commissioner of Transport for London. You, you promised them to give them a story. And, and no stories. One of the things, and you say you give the key to you, but nobody takes care of them. When they, they sack them, they, nobody even they respond to them. Mm. They Fair cut it back door by, by saw, they, they put it, they break the door. Right. Even the, the guy, he's come and, and said to them, why you break the door? Yeah. You, should, you should go follow the look. Well done, do my leg. No, it's not well, regardless of the rights and wrongs, what I need you to do is to get uh, speak to the bailiffs and say to take no further action, no coming into this uh, property while we just get this thing sorted out, and we get and we give the, the people time to pack up and do what they need to do. And we can't have the police tied up, um, basically um, protecting this property or dealing with this issue when we've got uh, 67,000 people about to come out of uh, about the stadium. Thank you, sir. Just let me know what's going on. No, we need yeah. to know. No. I just want to speak in private, please, if yeah. that's okay. Sir. Who's inside? Is it your door? Yes. Is it the door? What's happening? Police man, open the door. They just went inside my shop and they locked themselves inside. I don't know what's going on. So I've, I've just spoken to Siobhan. You are going to get more time. You're going to get more crates and that's my personal commitment. Nothing will happen. We'll sort this out on Monday with this lady, Siobhan. Yes, she's, she, she always lies. She's, she don't tell the truth. I've got email she sent us and what she promised. This is what we need. <laughs> The security is here. Yeah, we're going with them. They're going now. They're going now. Yeah.